accept coal up to two inches with surface moisture content not exceeding 10.6%. The dryer mill has six rollers that are suspended from journals on a rotating shaft. The rollers are forced against the bowl ring in the mill housing by centrifugal force. Rotating plows direct the coal between the rollers and the bowl ring where the coal is crushed. The coal in the dryer mill is fluidized and dried by the incoming hot drying gas from the recycled gas heaters. Airborne cold particles circulate inside the mill housing. The spinner separator controls the amount of coal flowing through the process. The main induced draft fans, or ID fans, create the draft necessary to transport the coal to the cyclone separators. Heavier coal falls back into the dryer mill. The pulverizer cross-section shown here has a large access door through which journal assemblies are easily removed for yearly maintenance. Shown here are six DF-52 pulverizers under construction at the williams Terre plant in Missouri. Okay, bring it around so that we can see the lubrication system. Unlike bowl mills, the Williams DF mills have no springs. Crushing force is derived by centrifugal force. The journals are free to roll over uncrushables. For purposes of demonstration for this picture, the pulverizer access door has been opened and the pulverizer operated a slow speed. Note faster operation would be hazardous. Capacity adjustment is achieved by varying the central shaft rotational speed. Each Williams DF mill is equipped with a tramp metal throwout chute. By opening this large gate, removal of hard to grind materials is accomplished. This is done periodically, normally into a wheelbarrow. Here it is. There's a piece of metal in there. It looks like a ring of dog. And we here's some slag. Okay, so it accumulates at the bottom. Williams uses an active classifier we call a spinner separator, which is located directly above the DF pulverizer as shown here. Because of the dynamic classifier design, sieve analysis of the pulverized coal remains at 95% minus 250 mesh at high or low loads.